Mm-hmm. All right, good afternoon, everyone. It's 4.31 p.m. So I walk my 10,000 steps for today, 10,970. Uh, well, a total of two and a half hours, right? or two hours and 28 minutes, 10,970 steps, 5.13 miles, and burnt 2,640 something calories, 48, 48. Reading that backwards, by the way. <laughs> cool beans, cool beans. So anyway, since we're debating things and stuff like that, which I don't mind. I can debate anyone. <sighs> this is just to show you I'm still walking, like I said. But I do have pain periodically throughout the day, like I said, too. Which I didn't have before the time in the Navy was perfectly healthy and everything. And everything. <laughs> right, right. So again, we're looking for the end. There it is. So again, this here is the Oxford Learners Pocket Dictionary English Greek Greek English. So Here's the Greek version of the word mastois. So again, we see M A S T O S. The uh, breast. Right here. Let's see if I did stuff else too. Or set. It's really set. Thoughts. It's T. Now the Bible clearly says it's not those who are faithful in much. But those who are faithful in little. Because anyone can follow the crowd, right? And do what everyone else is doing too. But when you distinguish yourself as someone different, right? And show you're different, and act different, and behave different than the crowd, people can start seeing the cog that's out of place. <laughs> as they say, as they say. <laughs> so that's M. Looking for Sigma. So what, you think only you can know Greek because you're part of the Greek council in college or something? Right. No one else can learn Greek but you? You're worse than the nerds, actually. <laughs> I've seen uh, Revenge of the Nerds and movies like that. This is Sigma. There it is. Sigma! Or that, or the, what's it been? So anyway.
So, So this here is the English Greek side and the Greek English side. This here. So like I said, this is just to show you they're sort of being ambiguous about things too. So here, chest is again nas tas, as shown in Strong's concordance. But right here. Is another word for it, sethos, or maybe that's a different word. Let me see. <coughs> Yeah, that's set off. It's D. Those. Alright. Or the three. Theo. Theo. Someone. Theo. So, anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what's weird. Breast is really set off. Set off. Set. Stethos, alright, sorry about that. I guess that's how. Or Stethos. Depending on the vowel pronunciation there. Stethos. Uh, here's it again, breast. So that's again the mastos, and this one here is the stethos.
So, and you find the same words here in the Greek. Now, see, if you don't see there are two different words, you're blind as a bat. I can't help that, right? And one applies to the female, one applies to the male. Can't make you see that. Well, that's what? Stubbornness of heart. <laughs> yep. So, again, the big word right here, M-A-S-T-O-I-S. So, that's the feminine word for Jesus. Right there, like I told you before, the Orthodox didn't even want revelations into this, right? That's where Constantine fucked up a little bit too, right? He allowed the book of Revelation to be part of the canon, right? Because to him, I guess it sounded a little Old Testament. And he liked the preaching, right? But he missed Revelations 1 13 too. Which is what Jesus and John sort of count on. Until me, until you. So. Again, here's the Stethos. So, S T E T H. O S. No, that's boom. I'm sorry. Uh, that's the boss. <laughs> so S T E T H O S. Right here. That's reading the backwards part of that. I think he says it again in another chapter, but now it's a huge leap, but not impossible from there to masculine. One is masculine, one is human. But that's also from the author's perception of Jesus at the time. Versus the book of Revelations, which was years later, right? In his old age before he died, right? So we know what happened after the the Last Supper is the cross. And then John was the only disciple to see Jesus on the cross with Mary, his mother, right? And Mary Magdalene, of course. So he was the only one who could say there were mass toys on Jesus, not Stethos anymore either. And he mentioned the girdle. A girdle is a belt worn about your chest. And you can't change that either. And, uh, John had to feel something under his chest when he leaned on it. If you wore a belt to not look feminine. <laughs> to not show the breast. Now, of course, that was his secret he had to bear until the cross too, right? All true hermaphrodites are rare human beings. There's more male or female naturally, naturally, here, here. So that couldn't even be known till the cross by John or any of the other 11 either. either. But also, like I'm going to show you through the Old Testament, again, he could show them through the Old Testament through the main passages in Job. Isaiah and check limitations how that applied and then with Shaddai according to Schofield meaning breasted enough female breasted enough that's the sinker that's the sinker which also happened four seven years before World War II. One, one. Interesting thing there. Right. Seems like everyone discover when someone discovers this, like Schofield or King James or something like that, a war breaks out too. Right? Is that Satan rebelling from God further? Yes, yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, even Leviathan draws out the Shad according to Isaiah, Jeremiah and Lamentations, sorry. So, or Jekylls in one version, though the Hebrew, It's a different word, I'm sorry. I thought it was a lot then, but it's, uh... Chuik. It's C-H-A... V... K or Q, right? So, it says jackals, actually, all right. Now, remember in, uh, so this is shad, meaning the breast for the infant to suck off of, all right. And, again, this is the animal itself, which they interpret as jackal, but it's, C H A W C K or K or Q, right? Right there, right there. And this is Shad, which makes up the phrase El Shaddai or El Shad Dai. Breast is enough, right? Which could also mean one breast or two. So again, Isaiah sixty. So uh, the phrase starts on the Hebrew side here. So it's going from uh, this way, the Shad. Then the next word is Melikim. Right. Uh, I think it's uh, the. It's, it's down there somewhere. Uh, the. This is Kings. Bella King, Bella King. This here is Shall Suck. Have uh, some uh, Shall You Suck. All right. Sorry, it was hard to read upside down. This is small wording. Lettering. Now, Jesus doesn't want those who follow a crowd and let people show them what they want to see, right? Anyone can do that. <clears throat> so, anyway. Yes, the... Not... Key, right? Yeah. Yeah, Tina Key, right? Which means sup. 
or shall suck, right? The you is just sort of emphasized there, right? So, and single breast kings shall suck. You shall know! Right, Sam? That I, Jehovah God, brought thee out of Israel. Anyway. So those are the main passages. Oh, there's one more in Job. I forgot. Um, Job, uh, Now, in Job 24, it says, They seize from the breast the orphans and on the poor, Lay a seed. See, that's what they're trying to do to me now, right? I'm just a disabled person because of my service to my country, right? And through a, no other means. So, the word is me, Shad, here, right? Now, the Shad is, um, and single breast, right? This is me, Shad, and means the me is supposed to mean from, and Shad, single female breast. The orphans, right? And on the poor lay a siege. That's what they're doing to me, right? So that's uh, 24, let's see which verse, So, looks like verse 9. So, 24 9 in Job um, 60 16 in Isaiah. Three in limitations, right? Is where the Jews use the word shad in various forms, right? Fa, shad, shad, and me shad, or something like that, right? Could be ma or whatever else, but it's supposed to be from, right? Now, shad, dai, shad means, again, single female breast and die means what enough enough All right. like I told you before now 
Schofield, like I said, in 1907 discovered all this. And I'm sure I got that Bible somewhere around here. Still, too. For... But I'll, I'm not worried about all that. That's enough to convey it, right? So, <clears throat> you get your concordance again to verify the meaning of the word. Alright, so 7699 is spelled two different ways. It's spelled S H A D or S H O D. Right here. It's also from which the word demon comes in a way too. Shad demon shade deem with two different vowels again makes the word demon as well All right now shade is devil right like i told you before it's like saying shadow or shade right and then shad da e is uh said to mean Almighty, or the Almighty, but again, L means Almighty too. That's what Schofield pointed out. But if you break it down into two component words, the Dai Means enough. <clears throat> there it is. So it's simply D Y or D with the vowel. <clears throat> so it's Dalit Yod, right? In the Hebrew. Right here. And it's definition. 1767 as a D and a Y and it means enough Now, it looks to me like Moses, when he came up with um, the divine name, based it on this and called it simply Yahuwah or Yahava in honor of Eve, right? The mother of all living, right? Who is Chava, right? Now, you can also say Yahava, which means is, which is basically saying the breath or to breathe, right? It's up to you too. That's a little leeway there. <clears throat> and see, I didn't write this. Your prophets did, right? <laughs> but you're not looking at it. You're ignoring it, right? Everyone's, you know, treating it like the bad scripture or the scripture you're not supposed to talk about, right? <laughs> well, if I'm understanding John and Isaiah by saying you're sealing things in the scriptures don't you think that's what you're sitting <laughs> I do too <laughs> apparently so apparently so <laughs> right flashlight <laughs> Load there. <laughs> Just playing. She stays of grows under my umbrella. 
Sorry, I had to get someone to download it. Anyway, so have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.